Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are flying with Copa Airlines on their 737 MAX 9 aircraft from Buenos Aires to Panama City and continuing on to Los Angeles. This video was recorded in December 20, 2022, when Argentina had won the World Cup. The streets are either packed or empty, and by empty, I mean closed. After tracking down the entire city just to get to the airport, we finally got checked in and get ready to board our flight. We're actually gonna board now, and I didn't take any videos prior because I was just happy that we even got to the airport. So, yeah. In case you wanted more aircraft information, here it is. And by the way, that A330 over there is not our aircraft. Concerning in the background. The business class aboard this airplane is configured in a 2 2 configuration, completely live flat, which is kind of rare to see aboard these narrow body aircraft. Unfortunately, we won't be able to fly in these today. Our premium seats, including business class and uh, extra leg of economy, have in flight entertainment. The rest don't, which is kind of unfair if you think about it. The overhead bins on this aircraft are pretty gigantic, so you can fit more bags in one bin. This way, we didn't actually have to sneak into an earlier boarding room just to get our bags into the overhead bins. Pause for a second. Our row is the only row on this aircraft that doesn't have any sort of window. Although it is kind of interesting, given that the air aircraft that we flew to Los Angeles was the same type of plane, but had a window on that same seat. Let me know in the comment section what you think. However, the flight attendants were super accommodating on this flight and found an empty window seat a few rows up, so I was glad to take that one. And no, it wasn't premium economy, unfortunately. Anyway, let's do a takeoff. There's also a safety card and a bar bag. There's also some charging, a USB port to be exact, and a tray table which can fold out like so. Of course, you have to have a cup holder. In front, we have a spacious seat back pocket and pretty generous legroom, even though I'm a kid. The seats are nice and plush, which is very nice. The headrest was also very plush and it was adjustable like so. The seat also had pretty generous recline, although not the best in the entire world. And of course, we don't have any employee entertainment, but they do up there. How unfair. The 
Roomba also allows you to stream entertainment to your device. First, click on the Wi-Fi then. Then type in copa.com. On here you have many different options, including movies, TV shows, and others. have e-readers which is kind of cool. Of course you can't forget about the flight map which is equally as cool. And just so you know, yes, it is interactive. The infamous 737 Max bathroom is very, very small, even for my size. The toilet was standard, and it had these little tabs to pull which seat up that you want. It was also soft closing, which was nice. There's also a magnetic changing table. And by magnetic, I mean it actually closes magnetically. If that's a word. And then there's uh, something here. And I need to go to my seat. There's of course a coat hanger and everything you need in a bathroom. Just small. Not for a cabin walkthrough. Wheels were provided on this flight, however the portions were quite small which was kind of annoying. Although the chicken and rice was very good, along with the dessert.
la hora local en todo. Para ser sentado todavía no hemos llegado a la terminal. Now for our next flight. In case you need more information about this aircraft that we're flying on. I like the ones that have the window. Right. I like the decorations that have the window. is the exact same as the old plane or the other plane and in the back you can see that there are no blocked windows which is kind of odd to me. This flight was the exact same, however, it had an in flight magazine, which I will definitely be taking.
Bert. Some fruit and some really questionable eggs and orange juice. The bathroom is exactly the same, however, the light wasn't working, so it is a very nice dark color. And now for a quick cabin walk. Alright, let's talk about Koba. The food portions were kind of small. I think they could have added a bit bigger because the flights were kind of long. And second, for the airplane entertainment, they should really put that on every seat, given that the flights were international and over six hours long. Otherwise, Copa Airlines is a very good airline and I would definitely recommend them to you. Anyway, let's do a landing. Los compartimientos superiores en el contenido se pudo desplazar durante el vuelo. 